this is an equation, but it's going to be words, no numbers, no letters. I want you to put the word results on this side and an equal sign. We're going to make a little equation where we're talking about results. Uh, and uh, I mentioned earlier that um, you can think of um, uh, learning about your creativity at an individual level. How can I use more of my creativity at a team level? How can I uh, get this next group meeting to be really highly creative or the company as a whole? Let's take the middle one. Uh, any of you been to a meeting uh, recently? I'll bet you have. Have you been to a meeting recently where you said, what a waste of time? Would you raise your hand if you've been a, in a waste of time kind of meeting? Almost everybody has. People hate meetings because they say, you know what? Nothing ever happens. And uh, in other words, we didn't get any results. So we got these people together for two hours. Think of all the money that cost and nothing happened. Well, here's some thinking. Uh, if you're going to get results from a meeting, and a meeting is a group of people getting together to do something. One thing you need is you got to have in that room the right content. Okay? I'd like you to write, write that word down, right content. Let's say that we had a meeting. We got some results because we had the right content. What in the world do we mean by this word content? Whatever you think, uh, just say it. What, what do we mean by the right content? Information. In, in, information subjects. Yeah. Yeah. Participants. participants. Okay, the key thing is we had the right participants, the right people who had the right information, the right knowledge. So this is the what. We have to have a good handle on what are we talking about. So if the, uh, if the um, meeting is about performing a good brain surgery operation tomorrow, we had better have people in that room who are really, really heavy-duty knowledgeable about uh, brain surgery. Otherwise, we're going to have big trouble. However, if the meeting is uh, how to keep the Montreal Expos from uh, moving out of Montreal, those are the wrong people. We need people who know things about what? Uh, money greed, agents, stuff like that. Now, if we get honest people with an honest what, so we got a chance for some results on that. But totally different. So the what's change from meeting to meeting. Now, the next thing that doesn't change is we got to have a process. I'd like you to write the word. Uh, I have to switch from process to process, depending on uh, which side of the border I'm on. So I'm going to say process more here. Um, see, if you get 10 different people into a room, can you think of how many different processes of thinking those we have in that room? We got 10 different processes of thinking. Everybody thinks their own way. And what that is, is it, they get in the way of each other. They, they get in the way, it's frustrating. So the process is not the what, the process is the how. How are we going to think about the content to get some results? Now, if we do that, I want you to write up here quality results, meaning innovative results. If we could have a process that we could use together as a group, and it was a, a common process, we synchronize our thoughts instead of getting in the way of each other, and if this process drew out our creativity, we could get some high quality, really good results, not just results, but breakthrough results. Okay, now think of the Ford Motor Company, comes up with a brand new car they want to build, and they have this big uh, plant, and they dump all the parts in the middle of the floor and say, okay, you guys, go to it, build the car. Uh, we've got the right content, but there is no process, and we got a very bad car. Now they say, no, we got an assembly line, state-of-the-art assembly line, got a great process to put those parts together for a really, really good car. But they don't teach anybody how to use the assembly line. Still a bad car because there are no process skills. I want you to add to this process skills, and process skills are how to do the how. Okay. And what we're going to be looking at is not only a process this morning, but some skills that drive the process. And we're going to look at both of those two things and get a good handle on them. These are very simple, and they're just as long as you can put them into practice. And the other thing you need is tools. So they got these, so we're going to also look at some tools. So you got these people on the assembly line, they know how to run it, but they don't have the tools. So we're going to look at tools as well.